Venice. For centuries, this city has been inextricably linked to romance, beautiful architecture, and of course, water. But the water that makes Venice such a special place also happens to be what's threatening the city. Rising sea levels and the fact that Venice has subsided a total of 23 centimeters over the last 100 years are causing this threat. As a result of this combination, Venice regularly faces increasingly severe high tides. To keep Venice dry in the future, the authorities, Magistrato della Acque di Venezia and Consorzio Venezia Nuova, have launched an immense project called the Moes Project. Enerpac is playing a key role in this project. But what exactly does the Moes Project do? Venice is situated in a lagoon. There are four inlets from the Adriatic Sea into the lagoon. To keep high waters out during adverse combinations of high tide and a southeasterly wind, the project is building large mobile sea defenses in each of these inlets. As soon as the seawater level reaches a critical point, mobile barrier gates will rise up from the seabed and protect Venice from high waters. These mobile barrier gates are connected to large concrete housing structures called caissons. These caissons weigh over 25,000 tons and they are nearly as big as an average apartment building. They are manufactured near each of the inlets and transported to their final location in different ways. At the Chioggia construction site near the Chioggia gate, the caissons are built in a dry dock. As soon as all caissons are finished, the dry dock is filled with water. A barge positions itself above the caisson. Given that the caissons are almost buoyant at this stage, they now weigh around 700 tons each. Cranes mounted on the barge lift the caisson off the seabed. Four tugboats tow the barge, with the caisson hanging underneath it, to the right location in the inlet. At the construction site near the Malamaco Inlet, the procedure is slightly different. At this inlet, caissons are rolled along a track to a giant lifting structure. This lift subsequently lowers the caisson slowly into the water. Once the caisson has been submerged, a barge is used to lift the caisson, while tugboats then tow the barge and its heavy load to the right location. For this project, Enerpac has been working closely together with the companies GLF and Condot Floria who are both responsible for one or more inlets. Given that all of the caissons will ultimately have to be positioned one against the other, this is a particularly high precision operation. GPS and advanced topography are used to get this right to the centimeter. A mistake here would impair the future gate movements. This stage of the project is where Enerpac's expertise comes in. Enerpac developed a dedicated damping and leveling control system with high tonnage cylinders fitted underneath the caissons in all four corners. These cylinders are connected to a power pack with a digital control system that operates the cylinders. When a 700-ton caisson hits the seabed, tremendous forces could be generated if not properly damped. Enerpac cylinders and huge hydraulic accumulators are used to absorb these forces and make sure caissons can be lowered onto the seabed in a safe and controlled fashion. The control system first cushions the momentum of the lowering caisson, stops the wave-induced residual motion with a special algorithm, and as soon as the caisson is stable on the seabed, enables high precision positioning and leveling of the caisson. Needless to say, this has all been studied extensively beforehand, as there is no room for error at this point. Everything has to work properly now. This is the moment of truth. Does the control system do as calculated beforehand? Have all risks been excluded to a sufficient degree by the extensive failure mode and effects analysis? The challenges are huge, and there are no trial runs. Everything has to be right the first time. Although the contracts with Condot Clodia and GLF were signed in 2011 and 2012, 
Enerpac's involvement in this project goes back to 2007. During this project, the combined power of the extensive Enerpac organization was fully utilized. After the initial discussions with the customers, extensive concept validation tests were carried out by Enerpac in Italy in 2010. This is where the combination of the cylinder and accumulator was put to the test to see if this would provide the required solution. Also, the pulling system pump units were developed and tested in Italy. Then, the Enerpac location near Madrid came into play. Here, Enerpac developed a dynamically scaled caisson sinking model that was later also used intensively for the development and validation of the damping system software. This damping and leveling system was produced and tested in Madrid, and so were the cylinders for the Condot Clodia gate caissons. And finally, there were the pulling cylinders, the gate caisson cylinders for GLF, and the cylinders for the shoulder caissons of both Condot Clodia and GLF. These cylinders were manufactured by Enerpac in Hengelo, the Netherlands. This Enerpac site specializes in the development and production of complex and customized solutions. After a cylinder has been assembled, it is subjected to thorough testing, which involves exposing the cylinder to the same forces it will be subjected to on the seabed near Venice. Aside from that, various simulation tests have been conducted in Italy and Spain to simulate wave movements. Once the Enerpac system has arrived in Venice and been mounted into the caissons, a site acceptance test is conducted. The hydraulics and electronics are tested in their ultimate setup. And when everything has been given the green light, the caisson will be ready for transfer to the barrier site. Enerpac has contributed on three of the four Mohs barriers. All of the caissons at the three lagoon inlets are lined up and interconnected by a service gallery. This tunnel will enable service engineers to access the technical systems of the caissons for maintenance work after completion of the project. To make this tunnel possible, the caissons must be pulled tightly together. Again, GPS and advanced topography are used to determine the exact position of each caisson. A state-of-the-art seal connection is used to guarantee watertight connections between caissons. Here, Enerpac also plays an important role. Two Enerpac pulling cylinders have been mounted on the caisson that has just been added. As soon as this caisson is stabilized and leveled on the seabed, a diver connects these cylinders to the caisson next to it. The cylinders under the caissons are acting through tilt saddles on metal sliding plates that were mounted on concrete mats positioned on the seabed beforehand. The tilt saddles, in turn, are equipped with special material that keeps friction during the sideways movements within a narrow bandwidth. Not too low to avoid unwanted movements of the caisson due to water stream, not too high to minimize the lateral loads on the cylinders. The two caissons are now pulled tightly against each other by the two Enerpac pulling cylinders, operated by a dedicated Enerpac split flow pump. Finally, the seal is activated, creating a watertight connection, following which the dividing wall can safely be taken down and the service gallery is created. Underneath the caissons, there are big sacks, which are filled with concrete after the caissons have been leveled. The cylinders are hugely important at this stage as well, because the concrete needs 72 hours to fully set. Over this 72-hour period, the Enerpac hydraulic system keeps the caisson stable and in its place by a precise monitoring of the cylinder strokes. Once all of the caissons have been put in position, the large floating barriers are fitted. These gates are hollow and filled with water. Whenever the tide rises and Venice is threatened, these gates will be raised by pumping air into them, thus emptying them of water. Giant hinges keep the gates attached to the caissons and allow the gates to keep high waters out of the lagoon. Enerpac is proud to have been involved in the Mose project. The efforts and expertise of numerous Enerpac employees have helped ensure flawless execution of this project. Years of preparation, simulations, 
risk analysis, close collaboration with Condot Clodia and GLF, and subsequently, the execution itself, have made this project a huge success. Venice is inextricably linked to water, and partly thanks to Enerpac, this water will be kept at a safe level, making sure future generations will still be protected and able to enjoy this beautiful city and its surrounding area.